Look at that awesome tie-dye color. That's what happens when it rains. Oh no. Let's see if it goes back to normal. All that oil, all that nasty oil, getting ready to go into our groundwater. It was definitely a rainy day. There's mud everywhere. <laughs> kind of miss looking at that rainbow looking oil stuff that goes on the pavement. Anyway. My plan today has been foiled once again. My plans have been foiled. Today, I made it down to Wildwood, Florida, and I was planning on heading over to Epcot Center, having a pretty amazing dinner, and uh, maybe ride a ride or two. Right? That was the plan, but plans change. So what I did is I dropped my loaded trailer over there, let somebody else deliver that tomorrow, See, I had plenty of time. That doesn't have to be here till tomorrow. But, I mean, no reason to complain because they're keeping me busy. That, that's, that's what I like. I like to keep busy. So, I'm hooking up to this empty trailer real fast. As I'm talking to you. Sometimes this takes forever. It should be motorized. Oh, come on. It's good enough. But what they're doing is uh, no Disney for you today. I wanted to get there, shoot some video, maybe eat something, and maybe see what Pandora's looking like over at Animal Kingdom and maybe see what uh, Star Wars land is starting to look like. Not gonna happen. Instead, I'm taking this empty trailer up to Georgia, pick up a load to take it to Dole. So I, I, I'm picking up some kind of produce, probably carrots if it's coming from Georgia and taking that up to Dole in uh, North Carolina, I believe. I believe. Oh, put everything down here, carry you guys. See what it's like in the inside of this trailer. Make sure it's clean. I like to have a clean trailer when I pick up produce. Uh, it's kind of disappointing sometimes. Uh, a couple pieces of plastic, not too bad. One, two load locks. I'm raring to go. I'm gonna put you guys in this trailer while I shut the door. But don't worry, I won't leave you guys in here. I promise. Pause. Oh, I am actually thinking I'm doing something. I shut the wrong door first. I don't know, I had other plans today. I had other plans. They got foiled, got foiled. The problem is the plans fell through in a short time. That's the only problem. Other than that, I'm not that discombobulated. Yeah, this it's the next order shut. But that's okay. Plus this load doesn't pick up in Georgia until tomorrow. So that'll give me time to uh, actually update my website. I was thinking about doing that while I was here at the yard, but I think I'm gonna just wait until I get up to Georgia Park, kick on my Wi-Fi hotspot. Boy, I'm setting you guys down right and left. There's numerous things you have to do when hooking up to a trailer. One is back into the trailer. Two, shut the doors if they're open. Three, All the hoses and electrical lines. Da, da, da. That's it. Trailer connected. Stop dinging. Stop dinging. It's hard to believe less than a week ago. My entire life has been spent without the good taste of Mountain Dew. I've never tasted it before. 
for the last week. It's all I've been drinking. Mm. Don't know why. But yeah, so I don't know what kind of content I'm going to get today. I just know I need to put a video out there. I've been pretty busy over the last couple days taking you guys to the Spam Museum, Guntown Mountain, the America's Original First Haunted Attraction, and doing things like that. And I want to continue doing that and doing that, and tonight I had planned on Disney. But I promise you guys, I promise I will be doing more fun stuff and taking you guys on adventures like that. This is not today. I think the only adventure we're going to have is uh, driving up to Georgia. It's hard to believe that just a week ago I have never tasted Mountain Dew. It's true. It's a fact. I have never, ever tasted Mountain Dew. Now I'm addicted. It's right up there with Dr. Pepper. Anyway, because my plans fell through, I'm not exactly sure what I'll be able to shoot today. There's not too much going on. I just hooked up to my trailer. I'm going to head on up, back up to Georgia. That is where I just came from. And uh, find a place to park and update my website and wait for morning to come so I could load my trailer and head up to North Carolina. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to be shot video-wise between here and there. Probably, it's not going to be anything like I've been doing. The Spam Museum, Guntown Mountain, the old abandoned theme park, the old abandoned haunted hotel, and stuff like that. It's not going to be that cool, which I don't know if you guys thought that was cool, but being there in person, it was pretty cool. As a matter of fact, being inside the old haunted hotel, even though it's an attraction that's abandoned, you still get that creepy, creepy feeling. And... Uh, it, just because you're by yourself in a place you know you're not supposed to be what happens if there was somebody living in there what if there was some homeless person that took up residence within that haunted hotel and I stumbled up, up, upon them going through the hallways or something and I heard something move and then somebody comes out I'd, I'd have a damn heart attack I forgot to show you guys what my son gave me when I was down in Florida last week when we went to Mardi Gras. I'm trying to think of things to talk about in today's daily vlog just because, like I said, there's really nothing to do. I'm in Georgia already. I mean, I was going to shoot video coming up from Wildwood up to here, but I don't want to show a bunch of driving road video stuff. It just gets old. I want to stop and do things. But a lot of times, that's what truck driving's like. Especially if you're not, in the days before, we used to shoot videos and stuff like that when there were no real videos on telephones and stuff like that before vlogging became popular. This is what truck driving was like. We just drove. Just drove, went somewhere, drove, went somewhere, drove, went somewhere, slept, slept, eat, eat, drink coffee, drink coffee. But, uh, so sometimes you still have to do that. Times haven't changed that much. Anyway, uh, when we were at Universal Studios, my son gave me something to mount on my Segway. So I'm thinking, so as I'm driving on my Segway on long trips, like a couple miles, I know a couple miles doesn't sound like a long trip, but it's a long trip on a Segway, I can now listen to music. So my plan is, dun dun dun, this is a Beats pill. A pill, it does look like a pill, something for... Dr. Mario or something. So it, it's it's not bad sounding. I don't know if I would recommend the product that much. There's really no bass to it. For something that has the name Beats, you would think it'd have a lot of bass. But it does. I mean, but look at the size. It's small. So my plan is hooking some zip ties up to it, such as y'all. And then in the thing that goes between my legs, mount it to that with another zip tie and that way when I'm driving down the road I could crank out some driving tunes right and it should match the Segway pretty nice because it is black my Segway is black even if I had the white Segway I think this would look good on it may not be the best sounding Bluetooth portable speaker system but it's definitely not the worst and it will make riding down the road that much more awesome 
it's really gonna make people look, right? Oh, I didn't even notice it does have little feet here, so you can set it down. I haven't really used it too much, but I am excited to get it mounted on the Segway and give it a whirl. Looks like it might work. Not too pretty though. I'm loaded, got my paperwork and my seal. I'm curious, nobody here speaks English. Everybody is, I'm assuming from Mexico. I'm at a carrot farm and so they, it's usually, it's migrant workers. I, I, I feel kind of bad not knowing what's gonna happen in the future. I was watching Chris Perillo's vlog yesterday. His wife Diane is from Mexico. Uh, and they have a baby, they're living out in Seattle, living a pretty good life vlogging and stuff like that. But yesterday on their vlog, they posted a video because they just had their baby. And they, I, I don't know how old Jedi is, maybe going on two years old. And uh, boy, Diane was crying and, and kind of upset because of what's going on. And they're nervous and it makes me nervous about what's going on with some of the people here that work. And, live and own houses and stuff like that what's going to happen to them i can't imagine what they're feeling can't imagine can't imagine what i'm feeling though i'm feeling that it's time to head up to north carolina time to hit some backcountry roads god i think i'm going to drive a lot of those today heading to north carolina well other than that quick time lapse i did of those clouds we're really not getting out of the truck too much today, are we? Where's my silverware? I've got my silverware. Not really getting out too much at all. And this is odd. They gave me no fork. That is odd, unless it fell. Did it fall? No, it didn't fall. They just didn't give me a fork. They gave me a spoon to eat my lunch with. I think I can pull it off though, but that's okay. What What is for lunch? Sorry for not taking you guys too many places today. I am having meatloaf, mac and cheese, and green beans. Can I eat that with a spoon? I don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah. That's almost as bad as ordering a quarter pounder with cheese and McDonald's and getting a filet of fish sandwich. I can't believe, <clears throat> excuse me, I've worked all day long from this morning till tonight and there was nothing, nothing to vlog. So in between all these little breaks that I put on the video, so I cut and I drive and then I cut, and I talk a little bit and then I cut and then I drive, hoping to find something to shoot on video. Today there was nothing, unless you wanna see coffee really nothing what a bad bad not a good day not a good day for vlogging I hate these type of days I really do but I guess you have to have a little bit of boring with the good with the not so boring I'm not saying that anything I've done has not been boring to me most of it has been but I'm trying I'm trying but uh, I, I just could not think of anything today. Nothing at all. Let's hope tomorrow is a better day. Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, I'm going to go ahead, sign off, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm going to watch, what movie is that? I just downloaded. I just downloaded. I didn't download. I purchased it for free off of Google Play Movies. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. Let Google Play Movies load up. Not Finding Dory. Not Doctor Strange. Oh, come on. Where's it at? Where is my movies? Where's my library? Uh, where are you at? A new cartoon. I just purchased a new cartoon. And it's not Finding Dory. It's not Frozen. Not Guardians of the Galaxy. Not Ice Age. Where are not inside out? Where's my movies? I keep wanting to say Mulan, but it's not Mulan. 
What in the heck is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Where are you at? I'm looking for a little Hawaiian girl, and it's not there. Watch now. Load, load, load. I'm trying to search for it on an iOS device. Not Guardians. Uh. What was the movie I just bought? Anyway, it's a Walt Disney movie about a little Polynesian girl. Mohana? Mo it's not Mulan. Mulan is Japanese girl. I don't know what it is. But I just purchased it because I earned enough Google Play points to where it was free. It was the newest thing out there. So now I have... The two newest things I have is Doctor Strange and now this new Disney cartoon animated full-length feature that I'm kind of looking forward. I'm, I love Polynesian stuff. I love tiki's. That that I think that's what when you go to Disney World or Disneyland in California or pretty much any D, uh, Disney theme park across the world, a lot of people say oh, when you ask them, "What's your favorite attraction at a Disney theme park?" At, at, at least the Magic Kingdom type parks because at Disney World we have four different parks and there's good attractions at each like Rock and Roller Coaster, Everest and and at Epcot uh, Test Track uh, I, I don't know you got you have a lot of a lot of good stuff but at the Magic Kingdom uh, a lot of people go uh, what's your favorite ride at the Magic Kingdom and and sometimes you know you you always fall back on the classics like the Haunted Mansion or the Pirates of the Caribbean um me, I, I, along with those, especially if I'm in California, it's the Tiki Room, the original Tiki Tiki Room. And I know the show has changed, but the facade and, and the tikis with Pele and everything out front, and it, I, I just at nighttime, you know, like if I'm in California, and I'm, I just got off Indiana Jones or something, I'll walk over to the Tiki Room just with the flames going and I, I, there's just something about the Polynesian stuff that I love. In Florida, we do have tiki huts and stuff like that out on the beach and tiki bars, but it's not the same because we're not on the Pacific and so we don't have that Polynesian lifestyle. We have a Floridian lifestyle, which is a little bit different. So I'm kind of, I have high hopes for this movie. High hopes. So I'm going to go ahead and kick back, watch this. I'm going to bid you guys a fair adieu, and I will see you all tomorrow in North Carolina. Peace out, everybody.